So here at Walmart, we are proud to be a part of the Safe Zone Initiative. A cleaner environment is a safer environment for the community of Harrisburg. I would like to thank our neighboring stores, Elizabethville Store 3412, Store 2574 in Carlisle, and Store 1886, along with our market partners here at Walmart. And the many neighbors that came out were very supportive of the initiative we were trying to do. Well, we want to thank uh, our friends at Walmart, department store, who came into our city uh, and joined with all of the work we've been doing around public safety, blight, and cleanup. Uh, Walmart was approached by our uh, policing community officer, Brian Wade, and we thank Brian for his leadership. But this goes back to 2010 when we started this great program with uh, a great group of pastors around the region who came in and said that they love Harrisburg and they wanted to do something great, and so we allowed them uh, to join us and they chose this program called Love Harrisburg and these volunteers from all around the region close to 300 con I mean uh, 35 congregations uh, anywhere from two to 300 members came in every Saturday for six months and began to go into the back alleys of our city where it's just unfit for human habitation my staff and I joined them every Saturday and we got out there and we shared with them uh, in their weed whackers their pickup trucks their brooms their trash bags their safety jackets and they cleaned alleys that were untouched for years of just illegal dumping, just trash and litter. Uh, and they felt it not robbery to be a part of trying to clean the city up. And so we're so very proud of the Love Harrisburg Project, the largest cleanup project in the history of Harrisburg. And we want to thank uh, the Walmart friends, our Walmart uh, store employees, for coming in on Saturday recently they joined in this major project and took on a section of the city and they did a phenomenal job. They brought their trash bags, their safety jackets and their, their brooms and their weed whackers and they did just what we've been trying to do over the last three years and go into some of the most unfit areas of the city and just giving back with no questions asked. And we thank Walmart for being a corporate leader, for giving back to the very community that, that definitely provides uh, for them as well. And so we thank all of the leadership, all of the regional managers who got involved and gave us tools and gave us money to continue this great project we started in 2010. And we thank them and we ask other businesses to join in all of the efforts that this administration and all of its partners have done so far. 
and helping to get back and go into those neighborhoods where they're just unfit for human habitation and clean up so that we can inspire and encourage the residents that live there, that there are people who care about our community who don't even live in our community, but certainly do benefit from our community in many ways and find it not robbery to come in and help clean up and make Harrisburg a, a great place to live, work and play. Thank you, Walmart, for all that you do. And thank you for your leadership and your corporate leadership to show people that not only do you want to make money off the city of Harrisburg, but you also want to put back in the city of Harrisburg. Thank you for that.